how do you think all of this started? You know, the sneaker culture, like what do you think birthed such a niche obsession? I think it was multiple factors, probably pop culture, um, rap music, and basketball. And for basketball, I would say it started in like the early like 1920s when like Chuck Taylor did his collaboration with um, Converse and then it like revamped in the 70s and then like that's how the basketball culture started and then the Rep Your School or something like that where they uh, had different schools with um, dunks on it and then like that's how it started in my opinion and of course Michael Jordan and that's really where right. it blew up. Yeah. And then uh, rap music is just so many like famous people popularizing yeah. silhouettes like Nelly with the white Air Force yeah. One. You go back to Run DMC, Run DMC even with in the superstars. The... They're them popularizing like how like clean they kept their shoes and like the white Air Forces, how they like their Jordans and all of that. Pop culture as well, like just like niche things across like the country. Like I know like I'm from Maryland she was like the phone closet are like yeah, very sacred phones. yeah and then not many people know this but like Baltimore is the reason why we have air forces because like they were going to shut it down but it became really popular in Baltimore around like 83, 84 and they decided to keep it also popularized the New Balance 990 in that area and then on in like California uh, vans were popularized because yeah. of their pop culture and just different pop cultures and skating basketball. culture the, the emergence of social media is such a huge x factor of making sneakers so popular what what kind of role do you think social media has played when celebrities like travis scott or kylie jenner post and like post their sneakers and the price goes up you can see like how influence can influence the market as well like people watch travis scott's shoes and hope that he wears a shoe that the price goes up so like that shows how much um, celebrities influence the sneaker market and there's just like there's like celebrity sneak watch where you're like oh this celebrity's wearing this this celebrity's wearing that and yeah some people want to be like their celebrity so they'll go and purchase the shoes as well do you think there's one sneaker that was the catalyst oh, well, the sneaker that started it all yes yeah, is there one specific sneaker that that you would say started everything yes and no i think there's like I think there's sneakers that like started the movement, but like I can't isolate it down to one. I can I isolate it down to like a couple, and those those two would be the Chuck Taylor and the Jordan One. Uh, the Chuck Taylor is just getting into basketball and stuff, and like without the Chuck Taylor, I don't think there would be the Jordan One because right. it just started the um, like wanting to keep your shoes clean, and it has like it transcends to every transcends to skater, skaters, uh, basketball players, casual wears, and then the Jordan one really started like the sneaker trend. Like, that was the shoe that started it all. But do you personally think that it was one specific sneaker that got you into sneakers? I think it was um, learning about the sneaker culture. Um, how I started was that like I didn't really care about shoes that much. I had a pair of like all red Vans. I'd wear those like all day, every day. And then like a lot of the kids in my school had like foams. At the time they had like Roshi's, ZX Flux, Jordans, all this stuff. I didn't know what number they were and anything. I didn't know any shoes. And some people kind of teased me like you wear those shoes all the time. And I was like, <laughs> and yeah, like, and then I went home and then memorized like the Jordan numbers. I memorized all of them, what they look like. I was like quizzing, I was scrolling through Flight Club, looking like at the different shoes. And then like I came to school with that knowledge and they were like, they didn't trust my knowledge because I still had like all red bands. So like, I was like, I have to prove what I know. Yeah, it snowed. I'd shovel some, buy some, buy some sneakers with the money. And then like, I just became immersed that way. Just knowing more, watching like YouTube videos and stuff, reviews. And then I was like looking at like old shoes, like 2006 shoes, 2002 shoes. And like just hours on Flight Club, like scrolling through, looking at them. What, uh... What was your first pair of uh, like really memorable shoes that started your sneaker collection? I don't think I remember. Cause like, like I'd shovel, like it would like snow multiple times in a day and I'd shovel and make about like 120 bucks. So I'd buy like like a cheaper shoe, but like it would be like a, like a lower level collab that no one really knows about and I'd be proud of them. Like I had the Stash Spiridons. And I was like, I thought those were cool. No one really knew what those were. And I was proud because I was like, I know. Like, no one knows what a spirit on is. And yeah. I was like, yeah, it was like a collaboration between Stash. And then I'd like look at that. And then 
I guess that that's the one that uh, I was most proud of. That I just I'd pray for it to snow so I could go and buy another pair of shoes. Uh, I asked my dad for some like Jordan One Rare Airs. They were like a size too big, but I just <laughs> wanted them just to like so I could like have as many shoes as possible. Right, right. Um, how, as a student? Has sneaker culture impacted you? Have you made more friends? Have you made more connections over sneakers with the students on campus? So usually um, on the sneakers app, it drops at 10. And I don't really have any classes at 10. I have one that starts at like 9.55. But then like, like I'll be on my phone like at 10 to just try if there's like a good drop happening to try to get that shoe. And you ever hit on sneakers? Um, yes. My most recent one is I had two dunks. It was the uh, Hyper Cobalts and the UNLVs. And I just sold both of them. None of them were really my size. On the cross country team, when I joined, I thought I was gonna be like the only sneakerhead, but um, there's Jax and then there's uh, Jackson and they're both into sneakers as well. Um, I've influenced a couple of, I've influenced probably the whole like cross team. Really? So like now I got them pretty much all to download the sneakers app. Anytime there's someone dropping, like you guys can make some money off of this. The whole cross country team? Yeah, well, the whole men's cross country team. Right. And um, my roommate, Brock, I don't, he wasn't, I don't think he was that into sneakers when it's Started, but like now I just I talk about it all the time like he knows that he does his own research he's getting pretty good at it my friend Alex hit on uh, silver toes and he was like I was like sell them to me that was Maybe. a good one yeah and then yeah pretty much influenced um, some people on the team but some of them had their own like knowledge in it um, yeah. my friend uh, Jackson as I mentioned earlier hit on the uh, Travis Scott sixes Ooh. earlier well I'm not that was like years ago, I think. Yeah. And then um, Jax is from Asheville, and he knows like the sneaker shops, and he's been like into sneakers for a long time. Um, do you think you have the best shoe game of anybody on the cross country team? Yeah, I, I would think so because like I spent like a lot of time like getting into it, but like yeah. they have some there's some guys with some really good uh, some heat, yeah. some nice stuff. Yeah, Jax, as I mentioned earlier. I, bought flu games there's a size too big for him but he had like flu yeah. games so I, I can't knock his hustle he's, he's pretty up there as well so we know you're first place yeah, who's second yeah, place yeah. I'd, I'd probably give it to Jax Jax yeah. nice do you think you have the best kick game of any athlete on campus I, I think so maybe not like like in general because like some of my sneakers are like not as popular but like I think like in like rarity and like coolness, I think so. Because I have like like the Para Spirit Ons and the story behind like Para, the the artist from Amsterdam and did yeah. a collaboration with um, Nike and I have those and I'm I'm pretty proud of those. I have like Celtic Dunks, I think, from two thousand four, like Skeleton um, Air Force One. And then I have like the Crepe Air Max ones. And uh, I'm looking to get the my next one, the Clot Air Max one and the um, Bacon Air Max 90. Why are you a sneakerhead? Do you have like a, an emotional connection to sneakers? Um, one of my favorite things is uh, the story behind it and just like the fact that you could be wearing art on your feet. Like I, I'm a fan of collaborations as well or just like cool looking shoes like shoes that tell a story a little bit right like like a like another form of expression yeah. like through what you wear yeah so most of the shoes i have i i know the history behind it and how it started how it popularized and stuff how like the blazer was like a, 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 a popular basketball shoe like i just i like to know the history behind it and i think it's a cool form of self-expression